What's up? How you doing? Here we are, Saturday, and um, getting ready to do some uh, cooking. We're having fish tonight, tilapia, but for my family uh, right now, so they're waiting to eat. They're kind of hungry. I'm gonna make them a little snack. It's a small, uh, it's a small ribeye, salt, pepper, and uh, cook it medium, uh, medium rare, medium and uh, they could have a little bit of this while they wait for the fish so just a snack a little coarse sea salt here I'll do it both ways Let it sit for a few minutes so that the salt gets in there. So, I'm gonna go rinse my hands a little bit and uh, then I'm gonna try something uh, brand new that I've never had before. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back, wash the hands. Uh, so, we have a, uh, a new beverage, Uncle Nearest, 1884, brand new, never had this before. Ninety-three proof, and uh, small batch whiskey, this is from Tennessee. Fifth generation, um, and the master blender is uh, Victoria Edie or Ad. I'm not sure about the pronunciation uh, to the name here. Butler, I can say that. I love the bottle. The kind of bottle you put a message in, put the cork, throw it into the uh, Pacific Ocean, and then wait for a response. Really nice, nice quality. So. Let's see what it says about this uh, beverage. Let's see here. So, uh, known as Uncle Nearest, Nathan Nearest Green has been acknowledged since 2016 as the first African-American master distiller on record in the United States. And here's the uh, cool part. He taught Jack Daniels to make Tennessee whiskey and served as the first master distiller, formerly called Head Stiller, from the Jack Daniels distill Distillery as a free man after the Civil War. So, uh, says he was uh, instrumental in developing the Lincoln County process, the sugar maple charcoal filtering method used to make most Tennessee whiskey. So this guy, uh, Nathan Nearest Green, was, um, was the brains behind the, uh, the Tennessee uh, filtering process. So let's see, it says the maple, the uh, sugar maple charcoal filtering method. That's what he was the brains behind. So this guy was like, um, you know, came up with this process and then taught, taught Jack Daniels how to make Tennessee whiskey. It's very impressive. Um, so... In 2019, Uncle Ernest announced that Victoria E.A.D. E.D. Butler, I gotta look that up, but anyway, um, would become the first African American female whiskey master blender and lead distilling, and would lead distilling operations. 
Butler is a descendant of Nathan Green. She was named Master Blender of the Year by Whiskey Magazine, Vine Pear, and the Spirits Business in 2021. So this is all from Wikipedia. Uh, if you want to look this up, go to Wikipedia and put in the uh, Uncle Nearest 1884. They have an older uh, name, uh, also uh, 1856 or something. I don't know what. Let me see. Yeah, 1856 batch. So it's all on Wikipedia, but they also have their own their own website at Uncle Nearest. Dot com. So once again, take a look at that. Never had this before. Uh, I'm going to try it out now, though. Remember, drink in moderation. Do not drink and drive. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself wrapped around a tree and you'll make your family sad. So, if you're gonna have a little bit extra or whatever, make sure you're home or at a hotel staying over. If you're gonna have something and then you're gonna get in your vehicle, make sure you have one with your meal. And uh, make sure time passes before you get in your car. One drink, one hour. So, wrapped up here. Um, I just want to say, just by the smell, right off the bat, I'm impressed. That is some good smelling whiskey. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Nice color. That smells really good. Very good, very good. Yeah. <clears throat> I highly recommend this. <clears throat> so this uh, this uncle nearest uh, really knew his uh, craft. So this is from <clears throat> nearest Green Distillery, Shelbyville, Tennessee. You know, Kentucky and Tennessee, they're known for their uh, bourbon, whiskey, you know. Yeah. Small batch whiskey. I like the color. But smells really nice. Hmm. Yeah, very good. My uh, my hat off to uh, Uncle Ernest. And you know you're good if you've taught Jack Daniels uh, how to make whiskey. And I, I read somewhere, uh, maybe on their website, I read it somewhere that uh, this is uh, one of the fastest growing companies for whiskey in the US and the world, I don't know, the fastest maybe. 
maybe not even one of, maybe it is the fastest, but I, I read it earlier somewhere. So the whiskey is named after the formerly enslaved man, Nathan Nearest Green, who taught a young Jack Daniels the craft of distilling. Uh, yeah, I read somewhere here that, uh, that they're doing really well. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Yeah, you know, the more you have it, um, the more it seems like your your tongue is uh, picking up on all sorts of different flavors in there that you don't pick up initially. But now I'm picking up even, I mean, it's even better than originally, you know, I thought a few minutes ago. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. So, yeah, if you're out... Uh, you know, driving around and you end up uh, at a, at a um, store that sells this stuff, I highly recommend picking up a bottle and uh, drinking a little at a time. I mean, you don't want to get this and finish this in uh, a couple hours. You will not be able to find your bedroom at nighttime. So. Yeah, it's got a very, very uh, nice aroma. I, I can't really describe it because I don't have the background to come up with flavors out of the blue and tell you how it's similar to some other flavor. But it's, it's really good, really nice. I may try a little bit with... Uh, piece of ice I know I see different ways they they, they have ice solid block of ice goes in there uh, they have uh, crushed ice then they have a little bit of water you add you know a little bit of water and they say oh wow it tastes so good with the uh, water of course uh, straight without anything and uh, then they change the uh, the, the, the glass size like this one here you'll get the other wider one but this one they say is the best one because it surrounds all the aroma and makes it funnel out so you really smell it and uh, yeah that's a great 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 uh, aroma I have to talk to somebody who drinks a lot of this stuff so they know what exactly that is but that's delicious And it's a, it's a new company. It's it saying Wikipedia. Uh, it says, uh, what does it say here? Wikipedia. Founded July 2017. You know, Fawn Weaver. Founded by Fawn Weaver. So I don't know who Fawn Weaver is, but they contacted one of the relatives of uh, this this uh, uncle nearest guy. It's a premium whiskey, and now she's the head head of uh, blending. She's a blender. I'm very impressed. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, they got it down. They got it down. They know what they're doing. That's uh, very impressive to me. So anyway, I'm going to put that on the fire. And then I'm going to start cooking the uh, 
I'm gonna start frying the tilapia, the fish. This is just a snack for my kids and my bride. Uh, this shirt here, my uh, my brother-in-law bought it for me um, almost four years ago. Pink Floyd. I'm a big fan of Pink Floyd. Great guitar work. Great songwriting. The Wall album, unbelievable. Great band. So. So once again, my highest praise for Uncle Nearest, whiskey, premium whiskey. So here it says the company was founded by Fawn Weaver. And Fawn Weaver was born in 1976. This is all of, off of Wikipedia. Is an American entrepreneur, historian, and author. She is currently, currently the CEO of Grant Sydney Inc. and Uncle Ernest Premium Whiskey, which she founded in 2017. Um, so here, personal life. Born in 1976 is Fawn Everett Wilson of African American ancestry. She is the daughter, the daughter of Motown Records so songwriter and producer Frank Wilson. That is awesome. I am a huge fan of Motown Records. I love that sound. Very emotional music. Uh, you know, once again, you look at that and you say they don't make music like they used to. And she has been married to Keith Weaver since 2003 Motown big fan of Motown I love Motown so check her out check out the uh, the product um, they have their website I mentioned before unclenearest.com uh, and uh, pick up a bottle drink responsibly you will not be disappointed so the brand's first three releases are named after the year nearest was born 1820 um, the year he was credited with perfecting the Lincoln County processing was 1856 so he was born 1820 and then uh, the year he was credited with perfecting the Lincoln County process uh, was 1856 and the one I bought is the year he retired in 1884 I'm gonna try the other ones too just to see what the difference is So, yeah, Uncle, Uncle Nearest, a couple of times I almost slipped and, and wanted to say Ernest, Uncle Ernest, but it's nearest.com, Uncle Ernest is something different, I don't even know what that is, but unclenearest.com uh, is the website, it's starting to get dark, okay, I gotta cook the fish.